In the West, two dozen large fires are forcing evacuations. One is tearing through mountains north of Los Angeles. Maria Villarreal is there. Southern California fire crews faced a fourth day of relentless flames. The sand fire has consumed at least 10,000 acres of land a day, almost the equivalent of 10,000 football fields. L.A. County Deputy Fire Chief John Tripp. I've been in the fire service for 38 years. We've never had this kind of experience in June and July, and that's a testimony to what we're going through with the drought. More than 3,000 firefighters are battling this blaze in 105 degree heat on the ground and in the air. Normally in areas like this, fire crews would just let these hot spots burn out, but there is a concern because of how close we are to the highway, which means we are also close to homes. 10,000 homes are under a mandatory evacuation. The wind changed directions so many times that the speed of the fire surprised a lot of homeowners. It came blowing into their communities. They're having to run out, and then we have firefighters having to run in with a blowtorch coming at them. We have sympathy for that, but we just cannot put them in harm's way. 2,000 homes in the fire's direct path were saved by fire crews, but Scott, fire officials tell us they felt like they could have saved more homes if they didn't have to stop what they were doing to try and help people who had refused to evacuate. Maria Villarreal for us tonight. Maria, thank you.